since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Um, first non-hoppy beer review for microphone in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, this is Imperial Smells Like Bean Spirit and it is batch three. And can we just talk about how fucking ridiculously amazing that label art is? Um, obviously uh, an homage to Nirvana. It smells like Teen Spirit. Remember the naked baby that was underwater? Um, it, it's amazing. <laughs> one, of, one of the greatest beer labels ever. Um, Nirvana was huge when I was a kid. Nirvana was huge. I mean, even when, if you guys are watching, if you weren't kids, if you were older, they were just ridiculous. But um, breakfast stout, it says, with Vermont maple syrup, tugboat coffee, ro uh, tugboat coffee roasters, Sumatra, mandolin blend. Mandolin? Is that how you say it? Mandolin blend? So basically, breakfast stout with maple syrup and coffee. Um, we have been reviewing some maple beers, and I felt like another maple beer tonight. So um, big shout out to my man, Matt, for sending this. Um, this was bottled the end of September, batch three. I looked it up. Um, so this is just under three months old. So hopefully all the flavors are still there. Um, my other buddy, Matt, it's funny, they're both Matt and their last names both start with P. Um, actually, I got the very first bottling of regular Smells Like Bean Spirit. I still haven't drank that. And I also have batch one, I think, of Imperial smells like bean spirit but this was the freshest one so i wanted to review this on camera hopefully it still has the maple and the coffee and all that good stuff but um i freaking love microphone beers um but i've never had anything not hoppy from him so excited to check this one out so let's get into it oh this one is um 11 so big big breakfast <laughs> big breakfast stuff i'm hoping this might well, i don't even want to say that but uh oh oh no why Shoot, I don't even have anything to clean, do I? Damn, hopefully this is all right. I wonder why that just did that. I was not expecting that. It smells like fucking coffee in here. Damn it. Oh, son of a biscuit. Should we pause this? Here, hold on. All right, sorry about that. That was really, really weird. I was not expecting that at all. Hopefully this is all right. I mean, it smells like coffee in here, so I'm hoping it's, there's nothing wrong with this beer, but yeah, that bottle gushed. Stouts aren't supposed to do that, I don't think, so we'll see. Um, pitch black in the glass, uh, I don't know, quarter finger of like a mocha khaki head. Um, it looks good in the glass. Like I said, the whole garage smells like coffee right now since I just spilled everywhere, but 11%, I mean, there's glass lacing and there's alcohol like streaking down, so. Um, I wonder why that did that. That's so strange. All I did was take it out of the fridge for like 20 minutes to take the chill off of it. So, and this has been sitting in my refrigerator for weeks now. So I'm kind of nervous, I guess. See what happens. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and shove it in it. So this is, it's just rich roasted coffee. Um, there's some chocolate in there. And there is like a maple sweetness. So we just reviewed Morning Wood and that was just a maple bomb. Um, this has that maple aroma, but it's not crazy like that beer was. But yeah, it's, it is. It smells like breakfast. It smells like chocolate chip pancakes with coffee. And a nice, like a nice, like medium roast coffee. Nothing crazy. Nothing like super bitter or acrid. There's no fruitiness that I'm getting. No hashtag tart cherry, Eric. <laughs> But it does. It smells like it smells like breakfast. It's like buttered pancakes, chocolate chip buttered pancakes with a cup of coffee and like a little drizzle of maple syrup. It's it does. It smells killer. It doesn't smell metallic. It doesn't smell oxidized. I don't know why it did that. That's crazy. So let's go ahead and check this one out, Matt. Cheers, sir. Thank you. Ooh, that maple sweetness on the finish is killer. This is really, really good. My hands are still kind of sticky from cleaning all that up. Taste falls in those though. Right up front, you get hit with, it is, it's like buttered chocolate chip pancakes. And right as it goes across your tongue, it's like a killer coffee bitterness. And then it finishes with that maple sweetness. 
it's a cool transition from chocolate, like chocolatey pancakes, um, to like bitter kind of medium roasted coffee and then to maple on the finish. Um, the maple's definitely there. It just kind of sits on your tongue as you're talking and it's like a sticky kind of maple sweetness. Not a maple bomb by any means, but it's definitely there. Mouthfeel's awesome too. Medium, medium plus mouthfeel. It's funny as I'm talking like that sticky kind of maple sweetness is just on my tongue and on my teeth. <clears throat> but I just, I love, there's like a, a coffee bitterness is just sitting on your tongue and it's just balanced out perfectly by like that sticky kind of sweet maple. This is really, really good. Um, 11%, you don't smell booze at all and you don't taste it, which makes this scary. If the mouthfeel was more chewy and if the coffee was, we talked about this on the, during the morning wood video, um, if the coffee was much more present, this is more balanced. Um, this would kind of, you could start talking about how it's like reminiscent of batch two morning delight. This is a killer, killer imperial breakfast stout. Yeah, I, I just, I love how that coffee bitterness cuts down on that crazy sugary maple sweetness that you get on the finish. My fingers smell like maple syrup. It's crazy. Um, it's just, it's crazy. There's still like flavors going on in my mouth as I'm talking. Much more chocolate as it's warming. It is, it's, I mean, I a lot of times in these stout reviews, just because I'm not used to reviewing stouts, I kind of repeat myself. It, think chocolate chip pancakes um, with butter, cup of coffee, and maple syrup. Crazy. It's breakfast in a glass. This is insane. Really, really, really good stuff. And the mouthfeel is on point. Medium, medium, full mouthfeel. As it's warming, there's a little bit more coffee bitterness. And there's a, just a touch of like maybe some dark fruits that are coming out but i also might be tasting that might just be kind of that sugary sweet kind of maple thing on the finish it's funny because you're not getting any maple up front it's just dominated by chocolate and then coffee mid palate but then on the finish it's like oh there's all that maple syrup it's crazy i'm a huge fan of maple stouts yeah you can't smell alcohol how i don't know how this is 11 percent fuck And as it warms, it feels like it's getting like more, like more mouth coating, more viscous. Like for 11%, this is a killer mouthfeel. This is really, really good. I'm trying to think of what to grade this because I keep thinking morning wood in my head, but that's a barrel aged porter. So it's not the same beer. This is an Imperial Stout versus a barrel aged porter, but when you're up on a 13% porter, I mean, that might as well be a stout, but that's barrel aged. So you got some killer like barrel characteristics from that that's missing from here, but you don't really need it in this because it's just straight breakfast. This is world class for me. Um, I think like 97, really, really, really good. I would love to, I mean, this sat for three months. I would love to have this like two weeks path after bottling. <laughs> if I could do that just to see if like that chocolate, would, if it was like even more decadent chocolate, um, and just to kind of see the maple is definitely there on the finish. I kind of wonder if like that maple would be there throughout the entire, um, just as you, you know, as you drink it, if it was like maple the whole way through with the chocolate and the coffee. Awesome stuff though. Yeah, I'm going 97. I'm trying to figure out why the bottle gushed. That was so weird. So, um, yeah, that's batch three. Imperial smells like bean spirit. Matt, thank you so much for sending this. Fucking amazing stuff. We're on a roll with maple beers, with morning wood, and then that. Even um, Michigan Maple Jesus a couple weeks ago was fantastic. So I've had success with maple beers recently. So if you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.